So I'm a, an emergency room doctor by training, and I was in the emergency room earlier this week when I came across a gentleman who I had gotten to know all too well. It was my third time taking care of him. Uh, he had a history of diabetes and uh, a proclivity, uh, it seemed, to uh, uh, develop diabetic comas. And so today I was hopeful that we were catching him before he fell into one. And as I spoke to him, he recognized me and I recognized him. And as we started to, to get into the details of his story, I realized why he had come to the emergency room so many times. And it wasn't because he didn't understand the importance of insulin. It wasn't because he didn't know how to administer it to himself. He knew all of those things all too well. He had been a diabetic virtually all of his life. But the reason why he was there for the third time in as many weeks is because he couldn't afford his insulin. And when he told me that, um, I, I felt... I felt touched that he would share that with me, but also heartbroken that he would have to endure all that. Um, and, and I realized that, boy, this is a broken system. When, when an individual like this knows what he needs, is willing to do everything he needs to get it, and yet still, because of forces beyond his control, can't afford the medications he needs to keep him out of the emergency room unnecessarily. And so that is part and parcel of why I want Governor Murphy to pass the creation of a New Jersey Drug Affordability Board. It would mean a world of difference for him and a world of difference for me and so, so many other uh, New Jerseyans across this state.